What to do, Vinyl Community? It is I, Brian. That's B R I A N. And this is Vinyl Finds number one. If you've been watching the channel, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're new, welcome. So, in my previous video, uh, Mail Time number one, I mentioned that in the following day I was gonna go um, to the record show uh, record shops and look for records and that's what I did um, so I went on Saturday let's see June 4th I believe 2022 um, found some great records that I'm about to show uh, didn't get to spend them until now because you know during the weekend I went to look for records Came home, uh, put them on my shelves um, to, sp to spend time with family. And then yesterday, Sunday, I um, ended up cleaning them, put them back. And then today, Monday, I finally got to listen to all of them. So without further ado, here we go. Coming in with the, uh, the first record, uh, this is a recent release and this is a reissue that I got at Amiibo Records in Hollywood. Uh, this is Freddy Hubbard, Breaking Point. This is a phenomenal record. Um, has the New York label, and this is the Tone Poet release. Been waiting for this. Um, I usually pre-order the um, Tone Poets, but this one, I was like, I'm just going to get it at Amoeba this time. Um, and yeah, I went and they had a bunch of copies. And uh, yeah, this is what the back looks like. And this has a phenomenal um, lineup. So it has Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, James Spaulding on alto sax and flute, Ronnie Matthews on piano. Eddie Kahn on bass, Joe Chambers on the sticks. Yeah, so uh, I like it the, how the first sentence of of the liner notes here says, "This is a most unusual album, even by Blue Note standards." So yeah, this is uh, Freddie Hubbard doing like post bop. Some people might say avant garde. This is just so great this is uh the original came out in uh, 64 i believe so i believe from 64 and onward onward uh you know a ton of musicians uh transitioned man freddie hubbard yeah i want to show y'all the the vinyl or i want to show y'all the uh the jacket here uh, let me see if I can show you all without the, there you go. So yeah, you have here uh, Freddie Hubbard, and you also have James Spalding on, on, this, on this picture, and yeah. So yeah, so happy to get this. I've been, I've been waiting for, for this to come out. I love the music on, on this uh, album, and yeah get it while it's in stock might as well show the the uh vinyl here it's nice uh what's his face uh kevin gray does a phenomenal job with these reissues um but yeah loving them keep them coming next up another uh tone poet here that i'm about to show now this one is actually an earlier tone poet uh that i didn't get um i've been wanting to get this one but at the time you know what what when it was in, when it was still in stock i was looking at other tone poets that i really wanted and by the time that i wanted to get this one it was sold out uh this one, I it's still sold out on the Blue Note uh, website. So when I saw this at the uh, 
when I saw this at Amoeba, I was, I was like, yep, I gotta get this. And this is one, this particular artist I've mentioned and I've talked about in previous videos, I'm talking about, bam, baby face wet, face to face. This is a dope record. And the other record that I showed, well, which, which is, which has face, baby face wet, it has a similar lineup. But in this one, they actually have Fred Jackson. Uh, so instead of it being a trio, they have, it's a quartet and, and this um, record. And this is again on the New York label. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. So the lineup here, um, Fred Jackson on tenor sax, Grant Green on guitar, Babyface Willette on organ, and Ben Dixon on the sticks. So yeah, this is one that I missed out. Um, ha so happy that, uh, <laughs> surprisingly, uh, actually not surprisingly, because Babyface Willette didn't really have that many records. So I ha happened to have found this, uh, this record in the, uh, let's see, I think the W section of records. <laughs> You know how some record stores have uh, the misc or whatever it's called. Yeah, that's where that's where I found it. Um, yeah, this is this is an awesome record that I'm sure a lot of uh, jazz and maybe even you know, audiophile uh, audiophiles uh, folks have already. But if you don't have this, um, you should either, you know, find it at your local record shop or wait for, you know, Blue Note to do another re reissue. Or not necessarily reissue, but, you know, when they come back again, you should get it. Face to face. Again, Kevin Gray. Another Kevin Gray, um reissue this one is not blue note however this is uh actually a vinyl me please now this is one that i've been wanting to get i wasn't sure if i wanted to get it actually but when i saw the record i knew a little bit about it i know a little bit about the artist um this is actually a vocalist uh from prestige uh, i believe she only put out maybe two records on Prestige. Barbara Leah, or Leah, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. Leah, perhaps? Yeah, so Leah in Love. This is the Vinyl Me Please reissue. I was pretty surprised that I found this at, uh, at the bins the other day. Um... When I saw it, I was like, oh snap, this is one that I wanted to get, this, this one that I wanted, but didn't want to pay the fees, the Vital Me Please fees. Um, so I was like, maybe I'll get it one day, who knows. I had it on my want list on Discogs, and, and now I have it in my collection. So, again, Barbara Leah, or Leah did i believe only two uh records on prestige now the originals of both her records it's actually funny because her other one is this one that i'm talking about so, uh her other one is barbara leah jo with the johnny winhurst quintet quintets plural and yeah uh, finding originals of these two are, go for a lot of money, especially the other record. Um, I think there's one on Discogs of this, uh, OG, an OG of this on Discogs that goes for maybe 150 and the condition says VG+, plus, I, I believe. Um... So yeah, this has the the booklet and everything. I thought this was um when I, cause it looked. I mean, 
the record looks, you know, looks like it, it looked like it had never been played. And then I saw the receipt, which I might as well show. Uh, here, right here it says, actually, can you see this? Right there, used LP right there. It said used, so when I, I was really surprised when I saw maybe the previous owner, you know, um, spun it once and then didn't like it. This is one that I think uh, some people might like it some people might not mainly because you know this is a vocalist and um but yeah i mean i i love female vocals and i'm not again i'm not that familiar i know of uh barbara barbara uh leia or leah but um not as much as i know other female vocalists like you know ella fitzgerald and billy holiday Julie London, etc. Uh, but yeah, this is, and yeah, finally, please, classics. So this is, uh, this was done by Kevin Gray. Um, this is the, this was cut from the original analog tapes at Sterling Sound. And yeah, this is one that was released, I believe, this year? Or no, last year, I, I think. But yeah, I've been wanting this, and... Very interesting lineup, by the way. So we have Barbara Blia on uh, vocals, uh, Dick Carey on piano, alto horn, and arranger, Ernie Caceres on clarinet, baritone sax, uh, Adele Gerard on harp, Al Hall on bass, Jimmy Lyon on piano, Johnny Win Winhurst on trumpet, Garvin Bushell on oboe and bassoon, Al Casamenti on guitar, uh, O.C. Johnson on the sticks, Beverly Peer on bass, and the Jimmy Lyon trio. Uh, with Jimmy Rainey on guitar. Yeah. Uh, I think... I think... Uh, I think I saw some co uh, a copy of this go for like $30 on Discogs. Uh, I think, you know, if, if you like prestige and if you like vocals, like, uh, if you don't mind listening to female vocalists, I think you should get it, even if you don't like. I think I I would even say even if you don't like it, you try it. Um, who knows? Cause uh, this record does have some uh, standards, so uh, you'd be so nice to come home to. Uh, the very thought of you, I've got my eyes on you, uh, true love. Ain't misbehaving, autumn leaves. But yeah, this is, um, I'm glad that I found this at Amoeba for a good price. So, yeah, yeah. Barbara, Leah, Leah in love. All right, next up. Um, another, another, um, another record that I found at Amoeba. Um, this one's getting a reissue. This is on the Contemporary series. This is one that I know about, but uh, it's not that I'm not familiar with the music. It's more of I'm not familiar with how the musicians uh, play the music on this record. I'm talking about Shelly Mann and his friends. This is the Modern Jazz Blue Performances of Songs from the Musical My Fair Lady. And again, this is one that I got at Amoeba. This only cost me $4.99 plus tax. 
this is an original mono. Um, I was so stoked to have found this. I when I saw it, I immediately thought of the reissue. Um, it's still not out uh, as of right now, but yeah, the the wax is. pretty nice um there is a couple of scratches but the playing is phenomenal this is a this is a trio record i'll be showing you guys the lineup in a bit but yeah this when i saw this i was like ooh i didn't know if i wanted to get it or not because mainly because of the reissue but i was like i'm going to grab it because of the price so yeah, the this is the back, and the lineup here is Shelly Mann on drums, Andre Pervin on piano, and Leroy Vinegar on bass. Yeah, these musicians uh, are spectacular. I love their playing, especially Andre Previn and Leroy. Um, I believe Andre has... Uh, a couple of records maybe on contemporary i've been wanting one of his records on contemporary uh for a while now um doesn't go for that much i don't think so i'll probably get it online if i don't find it on at uh I don't, if i don't find it in the wild yeah shelly man is is awesome yeah leroy vinegar um he has i think there's two records that i want from the contemporary which it's like uh, uh, Leroy Walks, and then he has another one where it's called Leroy Walks Again. Um, but yeah, this is a phenomenal record. I think um, people should buy the reissue that's coming up. Uh, again, I I know of My Fair Lady. Uh, <laughs> I remember back in high school, uh, they, did, um, they did a musical uh, at my school, so... When I saw this, I, I was like, hmm, I was a little skeptical, but then I listened to the music and man, this is, this is awesome. So you, you know, some people might think, uh, that it's not good because mainly because of the title here, they automatically might think of, uh, or assume, uh, of, of, of the musical, but man, the music here is killer. And yeah, I think... Another one that I think uh, everyone should get a reissue of when the uh, the stereo comes out. Uh, I know it comes out this year, but I'm not. Uh, I don't know what month. I have to check on that again. Yeah, my fair lady. All right, so next up, um, the ones that I've shown were from amoeba uh this next one um i went to the record parlor and so here's the deal with the record parlor and this is pretty much the reason why i went record shopping the record parlor is another record shop uh in hollywood and it's it, the record parlor and amoeba are like close it's only like a uh maybe 10 minute walk so a couple of days ago the record parlor posted on their instagram a killer uh jazz drop and i remember i went with a friend to to go shopping records even though, except he doesn't you know he doesn't buy records he um, Amoeba has, you know, the, a variety of stuff, so we both love going because I can go for the records and he can go for, you know, the games or the comics or um, movies, etc. So I was like, hey, let's go to, uh, let's, let, let's go to Amoeba and the record parlor on Friday. That was the initial plan. Um, and he was like, okay. So, 
on Friday, I, or rather on, I think, Thursday, somewhere, somewhere in the middle of the week, um, the record parlor posted the, the killer jazz drop, uh, killer titles on there, um, the one that, that struck me the most was an OG mono of A Love Supreme, so, it said in the description, it was like, killer or jazz, big dra jazz drop uh, coming on Saturday, along those lines. And I was like, man, uh, now I want to go on Saturday because the initial plan was to go, you know, buy records on Friday. And so I told my friend, hey, um, I'm thinking of going Saturday. Do you want to go that day instead of Friday? He was like, yeah, that'd be better because he had other stuff going on. And so we went. Uh, a ton of killer stuff. I saw the price of uh, of a Love Supreme and I was like, ooh, I knew, I knew the price was going to be high. Uh, but, you know, there were other records there that I was also interested in. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the, the records, you know, the condition was not that great. Um, even the, even the owner of the shop said that the, you know, the, the guy that he bought the records from, uh, didn't really take care of them. So a lot of these were in the ranges of 20 to like, 15 maybe to 29 dollars i'd say but the bigger stuff you know there were a bunch of awesome rare blue note titles that were on the wall at the shop and i wasn't really i i, I was like i don't want to pay that much i you know i i i set myself a budget where i don't want to pay uh, a bunch of you know, a bunch of money for just one record. I want to uh, buy, you know, a lot of records for a good price at least because I wanted to show you guys what I got. So I only ended up getting two. And the first one, I, I, I've been wanting a reissue of this. I know that the Classic Series did a reissue of this back in, I think, 2019. Um, and again, this is one of those that I saw for the longest time it was in stock and then it ended up being sold out. And I know that Amoeba has some reissues of it, um, talking about the classic series reissues of this. And, um, uh, but I found, uh, I found a OG pretty much. So the record here that I'm talking about is Lonnie Smith think this is a i'd say original there's two there's two uh of the uh, like same copy same year but one has like a maybe a smaller like ring thing here and compared to this one um now the the jacket has seen better days the cover the the record itself is plays really well i was impressed uh yeah as you can see right here the the thing is coming off actually this little part has already come off and i got this for a whooping 17 dollars and 98 cents from the record parlor uh yeah bonnie smith I need to get uh, more of his stuff. Hopefully, Blue Note reissues his uh, the stuff that he has on Blue Note. Uh, the I guess I, I'll show you the wax first. Uh, there is some scratches. Now I will say there is one thing, and I now I see I kind of see why they priced it at this. Um, particular price um on my uh turntable at least 
there is a slight loop or like skip not necessarily a skip but like a loop at the beginning of track uh two on side one but other than that it is let me show y'all but other than that it is spectacular i'm definitely gonna get the reissue uh am i gonna if i ever find you know another copy i might you know upgrade um but yeah this is uh this is a this is one one of those records that I that I should have gotten when it was still in stock on the website. Uh, so yeah, the this is a this is like a unifold. I think that's what it's called. Let me see if I can. There we go. Yeah, Lonnie Smith on the Hammond organ. Uh, actually, let me show you the. Let me tell you the lineup here. <clears throat> so we have Lee Morgan on trumpet, David Newman on tenor sax and flute, Melvin Sparks on guitar, uh, Lonnie Smith on organ, Marion Booker Jr. on the sticks, Henry Brown on timbales or timbal. Willie Bivens on the conga, as well as Noberto Apelanis on conga as well. Yeah, this is one that, um, again, the, the jacket, especially the spine, I've seen better days. But for the price, I was like, this is one I gotta, you know, this is, uh, this is one that I wanted to get for the longest, and I found... An early copy, or I'd rather a uh, maybe original. Again, I don't know if this is uh, probably is original. Um, if if anything, it's a early early copy. But yeah, this is Lonnie Smith. I think last but not least. This is a record that I've been trying to find for months now, maybe maybe a year now. Um, I I love the musician, and this is one of those records that have gone up in price. And there were times where I was close to pulling the trigger and buying it off, you know off of ebay or discogs but i was like maybe i can find one and and then i just you know i didn't really think much of it because i was also you know looking for other records so when i saw this at the shop i was like oh my gosh i think so okay so there was another gentleman uh who i believe was first in line a shout out to the guy didn't get his name but we talked a lot about records that day and um i think he had it in his hands but decided to put it down because he thought it was a reissue reissue um and ladies and gentlemen i so happy to say that i can cross this off my list this is bill evans from left to right this is on that MGM Records label. And man, this is a spectacular record that I, I'm not sure if there's a reissue of this. Maybe there is, uh, like, a, you know, like what everyone's doing now. Um, but this is one where Bill Evans is playing on electric piano and he's playing on the Steinway. And this is just a freaking phenomenal record that I've been wanting for, again, I, pretty much a year now. Um, I'll show you guys, just like the other, uh, just like the Lonnie Smith record, this one also has a price tag. When I saw the price tag, I was like, yeah, I'm getting this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is 
$25. $25.98. Man. The... So yeah, this is the... Let me show y'all the, the back. Bill Evans from left to right. Orchestra arranged and conducted by L Michael Leonard. Yeah. This is uh, produced by Bill's uh, manager at the time, uh, Helen King. But yeah, this is one that online goes for insane prices. Uh, when I saw the wax, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope it doesn't skip. I hope it doesn't, you know, doesn't do anything that the that the you know the I was scared because I I spun the Lonnie Smith one first and you know there was only one loop and you know it wasn't bad so I because it was like at the beginning um this is the last one that I spun and yeah this has a couple of scratches as you can see but no skips none of that I cleaned all my records, and yeah, this is, um, this is the one that I'm keeping, I'm keeping all of these, actually, but if there were to ever, if I were to ever come across, you know, a, um, a, uh, a cleaner copy, which I don't think I will ever find, I'm keeping this, because this plays so freaking good. I I was just so happy to 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 get these two. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this this is the I I'd, I'd say this is the highlight of um of the of the vinyl finds number one, the Levens. But yeah, um, funny enough, I went to the. Uh, I went to the record parlor before going to Amoeba, and I ended up showing what I got from Amoeba first, and then the record parlor. So, yeah, after going to the record parlor, I went to Amoeba, and found some pretty cool stuff, I'd say. A, an interesting start for Vinyl Finds number one. <laughs> But yeah, that concludes Final Finds number one. Um, if you stuck around, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to more Final Finds. Again, this is I, this is one where it's like I uploaded Mail Time first, and then Final Finds like sort of like to like a few days after. Now, I feel like I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this again to where I post mail time and vinyl finds, um, you know, around the same time. Um, I just wanted to put this out because I've been dying to show the records. And yeah, um, if you guys see, I, if you guys see a, no, a red nose, it's because I have my allergies start just started to kick me to, to kick in and yeah but i'm so happy to show you guys these records that i found this past weekend um if you enjoyed this video drop a like subscribe i i would greatly appreciate you guys if you know you sub to the channel mm, be posting i'll be posting more stuff um soon and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.